As these pumps are not self-priming, they require a primer to remove air from the suction pipe. You can see a water ring primer coupled to an electric motor and centrifugal pump set. The centrifugal pump suction pipe is fitted with a float chamber. The float operates a valve on the pipe connecting the float chamber and the air pump suction. When there is no liquid in the suction pipe, the float drops and the valve opens. A bronze spring holds the float. Air in the suction pipe is removed by the primer and pumped out into the atmosphere. The partial vacuum created by this evacuation causes the atmospheric pressure to force the liquid into the suction pipe. The rising liquid will lift the float and close the valve. A pipe from the centrifugal pump outlet provides cooling water to the primer. This cooling water returns to the pump suction through another pipe. To understand how air is removed by the air pump, have a look at the cross-sectional view of the water ring primer. The air pump consists of an elliptical casing with a veined rotor and cover plate with suction and discharge ports. The casing is partially filled with water. When the pump is running, the water flows along the periphery of the casing due to the centrifugal force imparted to it by the rotor and creating a water ring. As the rotor veins pass the suction port, air in the suction pipe is drawn in and trapped between the water ring and the pump shaft. This slug of air is carried around and delivered to the discharge port from where the air is discharged into the atmosphere.